This one's a little different video than I've been doing. I'm trying to teach myself how to catch bass. I've got some finesse green pumpkin super salt plus worms here from Big Five. I set up a drop shot, which I've never used before. I'm here at my local pond because uh, I know there is bass here, so we'll see. I'm going to get back to the community parks this coming week back in Gilbert. So on here what I'm doing is I'm going to go with uh, a number one hook there, about six, eight inches here to a half ounce leader, little weight. And then I'm going to just tip this thing on here, just enough that it's like just got the tip out. And I'm going to try to see if I can catch something with a drop shot. I've never used this rig before, but apparently it works pretty good, so I'm just going to chuck it out there let it drop. I know it's fairly shallow here, so that's why I'm going with a little bit less of a, a leader on my drop. If some of you guys know how to use a drop shot, you can see if I'm doing this wrong. I'm just throwing it out and then kind of just jigging it up a little bit. Let it hit the bottom, pull up, just kind of work it. Like I said, I've actually caught bass over in this corner before with like whopper ploppers, spinners, different kinds of lures, but I'm going to see if I can catch something with a, with a drop shot here. So I went ahead and put a fluorocarbon leader on my braid, a few feet of it. I got a feather stuck on here. Uh. So I'm trying to teach myself how to be a bass fisherman. I figured <clears throat> it's time to teach this old dog some new tricks. Most of these community ponds are full of bass, bluegills, and uh, catfish right now. I feel like there's really no skill involved in catching the bass or the bluegills that much. It's just throw some bait on and throw it out and, and hope. So I'm trying to get better at catching bass because that's the other type of fish out there. It takes a little more work and finesse. So I'm trying some of these rigs like drop shots, soft plastics. These are things I've never ever used before. Um, I've been kind of lazy. I just like using spinners and lures that do all the work for me. So I want to try something different and see if I can actually start hooking into more fish. So like I said, I'm trying to teach this old dog some new tricks. Or I guess I'm a new dog at this, learning some really old tricks. But I guess the fact that I just found out I'm going to be a grandfather this week, I guess I'm an old dog. I was watching a couple other guys' videos. Um, the Fluke Master, I really like his videos on learning how to catch bass. I'll link his stuff down below, his channel. But he's got some great stuff on all different kinds of methods to catch bass. I really like his videos. So I'm trying to learn myself how to do some of this stuff. He basically uses a spinning rod, you know, with some braid and a fluorocarbon on there. Oh, oh, I think I just felt like a little bit of a bite there. And he was saying in this kind of a method, you know, I'm just working it like this, and when I get the bite, I pull straight up on it. Um, I've got that hook pointed 90 degrees up, so that way, if I get a bite, I just pull up, and I should be able to hook him right in the top of the mouth. But I did feel a little bit of a tug there just a second ago, so... Maybe I need to make this leader drop a little longer maybe. I might move it down a few more inches. I feel like it's a little too close to that worm for the length of it, you know. I appreciate all the new viewers and subscribers. Please don't forget to hit that like button and uh, it does a lot to help me grow the channel. And also comments. I, I reply to pretty much anyone who has a question or a comment. Um, I love the interaction. And I might have mentioned it before, but any of you guys that are out here in Phoenix, in this area, I'm going to be fishing all over the valley. So if anyone ever wants to get together sometime and fish your local pond or, you know, you have a suggestion of somewhere else to go and try, um, let me know. I'm always down for making some new friends. Fishing to me is always better when you have someone with you. So I'm going to make that leader just a little longer. I feel like it's... It was a little too close to the worm there. 
with the length of the worm. I think it's like around a five inch worm. <clears throat> and from the videos I've seen out here and everywhere else, it seems like the green pumpkin's a really good color, especially in this more of murky water. Maybe the lighter colored ones are better in a in more of a clear water possibly. So I just see a majority of people catching their fish on uh, when it comes to bass on a uh, oh I think we got something there. Wow. I think we got one. We got our first one. Holy cow, he was swimming off with it. I didn't even feel it. Look at that guys. I got my first bass on a soft plastic. Look at that. He was just swimming off with it. I didn't even feel him. That is awesome. All right, come here, guy. We got it. He's okay. There you go, guys. Little dink, but you know what? Our first little plastic worm catch. All right, I call that a successful trip just for that one guy. First one on a plastic worm, guys. Maybe I can learn how to be a bass fisherman yet. Thank you for sticking with me and my amateurism. But honestly, that's what I'm trying to go for with this channel. I'm trying to go for loud motorcycles driving by. Uh, I'm trying to go for a realistic kind of fishing, you know. I'm just an average guy. I'm not a tournament bass fisherman. I'm not, I don't consider myself a great fisherman. I've been fishing for a long time, but I'm still learning new tricks, you know. I've kind of had to adapt to my surroundings. Um, I got into fishing when I lived up in um, Pine Top, up in the White Mountains, uh, about 15 years ago, because um, there were so many ponds up there. I had a friend of mine who wanted to come up and start fishing some of the lakes and stuff, uh, and he got me into fishing, my buddy Paul. So he kind of showed me the ropes. Um, you know, but back then it was uh, bobber fishing, you know, that was what we considered fishing. Just throw out a bobber with a worm or some power bait and catch some, you know, some trout or whatever bit it. And then, um, you know, like most things, I was like, well, let me learn more. So I started watching videos, doing research, doing things. And then, um, you know, then I switched over to starting using spinners. Then you could have two poles. So maybe I'd have one out with a bobber so that maybe I'd still have a chance to catch something and uh, use a spinner or a spoon or some kind of a thing. And I found it more fun to catch trout and stuff um, using spinners. Um, and there was less chance that they were gonna gut hook um, and I could release them if I didn't want to keep them. So that got me into that. And then I bought a boat. Um, oh, we just got another one, guys. Look at that. Whoa, two. But man, I guess this worms really work, huh? Let's hope this guy, oh, and I got him hooked good, so. Look at that, right on the side, inside the mouth there. Just be able to get that one out, no problem. Come here. Man, I need a pliers for everything. Well, I can see why people use these plastic worms and stuff. That's number two, I think they're getting smaller, but you know what? I'll take any fish I can catch right now. That's two, baby. Come on. Well guys, I'm very excited. The Fluke Master has taught me how to catch bass with a drop shot. So that's two bass so far. I feel like I have something new in my arsenal I can use at the ponds this week. Let's keep going. I know they're just little dinks, but you know what? I'll take anything right now. Eventually they'll they'll move up in size right it's just fun to catch fish so i just need to get better at learning that i feel that bite because um those first two i didn't even know they were on there it was just all of a sudden i saw my line kind of moving and got a little tighter i didn't feel any kind of tug or anything so i need to get a little bit better at, at the reaction on that bite So some of you guys might have noticed I've changed the name of the channel to Hooked by Hurley. Just trying to find something catchy. 
you know, than just my name. <clears throat> I had thought about getting skunked, but I guess there's a company out in California called Getting Skunked, so I don't want to get in trouble for that kind of junk. Um, I had actually thought about doing something called like insane fishing or fishing insanity, just because you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. And I feel like that's me sometimes when I'm out here all day fishing. I'm doing the same thing and I'm not catching anything. So it's insane. That's why I'm trying to teach myself new tricks um, so that I can actually start catching more fish. That was the first time I felt a bite on the drop. There was a nice little wiggle there when this thing hit the water over there something tried to smack it right away and I wasn't ready so I'm trying to let it drop but I need to kind of be ready to feel that these bugs I'm trying to get ready to feel that bite oh and I also wanted to mention to you guys um, I've had a few people asking about Instagram I have never used it before other than once because I needed to the only way I could buy a certain part for my truck was through Instagram so I set up an account for that and other than that I haven't used it my wife just started using it to post stuff so she's kind of teaching me the ropes um, so I just switched it over to hooked by Hurley um, so hooked by Hurley is going to be my Instagram tag just like the uh, just like the channel so if you want to look me up on Instagram it's hooked by Hurley I still don't know exactly how it works I um, downloaded the app um, I'm thinking about maybe like posting a little, oh, there we go. Oh, that was a bite. You know, posting maybe a little, oh, we got, no, he's still on there. Oh, he was. Oh, he hit it twice and he was still, oh, he's still, he's still going for it. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. That was a good bite and a hit and then he, he tried to take it again. That was, that was pretty cool. Yeah, so, sorry, got distracted by the fish. So I'm still learning uh, Instagram. I'm thinking about doing like a daily post when I go to a pond or a lake um, in the morning and just kind of like a check-in, like, hey, I'm over at Blah Blah Park today, um, and just doing it early so we can see how, oh, I'm getting bites right there again. And that way you guys can, you know, see where I'm at, what I'm doing, and if it's a way for you guys to communicate with me easier, then do it that way. Um, I've got the app, so bear with me as I learn how to use Instagram. Like I said, I'm an old soul. Just turned to a grandfather this week. Well, I just found out I'm going to be a grandfather. I won't be a grandfather until February, technically. <clears throat> but I need to learn how to use all these social media sites, I suppose. But I also have, if you go in... Um, to my oh, got another one. Look at that, guys. Number three. If you go into my channel description, you can also get my email there where it says for business office offers or whatever. But you can hit me up there, James Hurley. Oh, look at that. Jump out of the water, James Hurley 15 at Gmail. Look at that guy. Oh, that's a, maybe a little better one. Let's see. He's definitely got more spunk in him. Number three. This drop shot is killing it this morning, just killing it. And he's hooked right on top there. Perfect. Nice little hook set right on the top of the mouth. You see that? These are these one off one. I'll show you them in a second in the in the tackle box. Come here. Come here. There you go, guys. I feel like they're getting a little bigger. I know they're just little dinks, but man, I'm having a blast catching them on this drop shot today. Let's get them back out there. Well, that was bass number three so far in, uh, I believe, less than an hour so far. And I've had several bites using this drop shot method, which some of you guys are probably laughing your ass off at me right now because I bet you a lot of you guys probably implement this already in your uh, tackle box and on your setup. But so far, I feel like this has been the most effective way I've ever caught bass. Now again, this is at my little local pond, so I want to take this method out and try this at some of these uh, community parks this week because it's getting annoying 
to go spend multiple hours there and all I can catch is bluegills, Terry, bluegills, you know, and the occasional catfish. And I feel like I just got another bite right there. So, I'm going to stand back a little bit like I said I should do. So, I'm just looking for another way to catch more fish. And this is exciting, real exciting. I appreciate all you guys watching the videos and sticking with me. I don't really have a lot to teach you. You know, some of you guys have asked and I'm hoping I'm giving you guys some advice. Um, but most of this advice I've learned is through watching other videos too. So I might have mentioned it before, but I am going to link um, a channel. Oh, there's a bite right there while well, I'm having a cigarette, not holding my pole. Um, for this guy, the Fluke Masters channel, I, I, he's the one that I've watched a lot lately, um, and I love his videos. He explained really good detail how to use a drop shot, how to tie it, what to do, you know, um, how to fish it. So I think you guys would like his channel if you're interested in, in bass, you know. Um, I've got another guy's channel I like to watch for catfishing. And then I've got a few guys that are local here that I like. Um, goal fishing and also southwest fishing. They've both been really helpful in teaching me things. There was a bite right there. Well, since I just lost one of my weights, I'm going to show you my setup here real quick if I haven't already. We got the Super Salt Plus Finesse Green Pumpkins um, Zoom. I think these are like five or six inch long, if I say. The green pumpkin color. I'm using these Gamagatsu um, one knot hooks, split shot, drop shot hooks, right here. And then um, I had this I found in one of my other tackle boxes. I use actually for catfishing and stuff, so it's got some pretty heavy weights in here. But what I've been using today is this uh, ML 1 8 ounce weight. So I just lost a weight. That's my first one after those three bass. I haven't lost a worm yet, but I did lose a weight. It got snagged up and it popped off like it's supposed to, so I didn't lose my gear. And I got this leader kind of long, um, just so that I can mess with it or something happens. It hasn't been affecting me catching any fish, but I'm just sliding this up to about the length that I want it. And then I'm just pulling it through this little grabber here, which holds it in place. But that way, if something happens, I don't lose the the setup and that's what I've been using so far today that's gotten three bass <coughs> and with the setup I have here it's just a um, spinning rod I believe it's a medium spinning rod this is uh, <coughs> medium action fast six foot Shimano rod. I think I got it either Walmart or Big Five, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a 20 pound braid on here. And then I have a six pound fluorocarbon leader, which is about four or five feet long that I have this attached to. Um, fluorocarbon is the key there because braid and mono, um, they don't sink. Uh, so those aren't great for doing something like this. You want to have that, that fluorocarbon because it's going to sink. So I tied on that four to five foot leader there just to give me plenty of room to sink as well as... Um, so it's tied on right here. Now if you can see that right there. Um, the knot I'm using is one I learned online. I don't know if I'd be able to teach you guys because I'm horrible at like doing those kind of videos. But it's, a, I believe they call it a surgeon's knot, or a blood knot, or a surgeon's knot, I think. Oh, just got a bite there. Oh, we got him. We got him. 
we got him. Let's see what we got this time. It's fighting like a catfish a little bit. I don't know. Let's see what we got. I don't want to break off another one. This is my last one. He's staying down like a catfish, though. Let's see what we got. No, it's a nice bass. It's a nice bass. Oh, and he broke me off. I just went to, just went to lower that freaking um, drag, and he broke it off. We just lost a really nice bass. I don't know if he showed up on camera, but my line freaking broke again. So I don't know if it's this this cheap six pound floral carbon that's just not holding up or what. Um, I didn't have any more of those drop shot hooks, so I'm going with a regular offset, like a regular kind of hook here. That's all I got. I need to go to the store and get more, but I'm having too much fun here. Now I keep losing fish though. That guy was a nice bass. I kind of loosened my drag up a little bit too. In hopes that I don't. I was trying to loosen my drag with him the minute the line broke. I, I went to loosen the drag, so. So let's hope we don't lose another one. Let's just hope we at least hook into another one. I don't want to lose him. That was a really nice bass. Way better than all the other ones that I got. Oh, just got another one. But now my drag's a little too loose. Let's see if we can hold on to this guy. Let's see if we can keep this one. You've been hooked by Hurley. See, there's my new catchphrase. Look at that guy. Right on the top. So the new hook setup worked okay, but it's another little guy. Right on top. So that's number four today with the drop shot. Another little guy. Small guy. Little one. Oh, we got one. Right there. Oh, he's pulling some drag. Not a big guy again, but I'll take it. Oh, and he fell off right there. That's fine. Ah, that was fun. This drop shot's been working really well, but I'm going to try something just for a little bit. I'm going to move the worm over just past this little middle part here. Put it on there. Try to get it a little more centered on there so it's, it's got some even weight distribution on there. Try to do like a wacky rig. I haven't tried that yet today. A wacky rig drop shot. Let's give that a shot. And then if that doesn't start working, well, when I start getting hooked up on stuff, I'll... I'll switch it over back to the uh, to the drop shot since that's been working. I'm kind of worried I might hook into stuff with that hook more exposed, but we'll see. All right, come on, wacky rig. I'm not sure as it's getting a little bit just after 9 a.m. now. So it's getting warmer and the sun's coming out more. So I'm not sure if they're moving out a little bit. Or maybe they've just seen my my worm too much here. Oh, we got some. We got one. On the wacky rig. I thought I saw my line moving. Let's try not to lose this guy. He wants to fight me good. Come on. He doesn't want to come over here to the net. 
doesn't look that big but hey that's the first wacky rig bass so we've done the wacky and the regular traditional drop shot Let's see if we can land this guy oh he might actually be the biggest one of the day for me today and that's not saying that much but we got him right so you can see that right on the side of the mouth here with the wacky rig come here open wide so that's definitely num definitely number five decent little he's fat he is not long but man he is chubby he's been eating good here say hello you've been hooked by hurley so guys i got a little confession to make to you um today's saturday i'm over here at my local pond practicing how to catch bass because yesterday i actually did go to a couple of community ponds. I went to Water Ranch and I went to Freestone and uh, I had absolutely no luck catching anything and it was very discouraging and I came home and I looked at the footage and I just wasn't happy with it and I deleted it all and I said screw this I'm gonna go back again and try harder because I just didn't think it was good enough so but I, I watched a bunch of videos and I learned how to do this drop shot and today's been one of the best days fishing in my life throwing drop shot in my local pond catching bass I'm still going to spend a couple more hours refining, but I'm going to go back out on Monday and do those again and hopefully catch something this time. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to use this camera for a minute since my other one's cooling down. Got another one on the drop shot. Well guys, thanks for checking out the video today. I was using the drop shot for the first time ever and caught the most bass I've ever caught. So what a great day. I've got a new thing I could put in my arsenal to take out and use when I'm going to do the community parks and ponds and lakes. So uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Press that bell notification if you want to see more content. And I put links down below to the sites where I've learned about this, like Fluke Master and Southwest Fishing and also uh, Gull Fishing here. So check out their channels. And thanks again.